Imagine your car breaks down and you need a new part shipped from Europe. Or your tooth breaks and you have to wait for a new crown to be crafted. No longer an issue, simply print a new one, says Professor Olaf Degel of AUT University, who is already using 3D printing to fax products around the world. So New Zealand needs to move away from traditional mass manufacturing. And there's not all that much point us competing on low value products with countries like China and India. So what we've got to do is we've got to learn how to design products better and faster. Now, if we can come out with a product a month or six months before the competition, we've got a huge competitive advantage that could be worth millions of dollars. Deagle has already had some success in the field of rapid prototyping at AUT, designing award-winning software and products for the healthcare industry. He's been named as the national winner in the e-health and environment category at the World Summit Awards and is well placed to win the international prize announced in Mexico. By printing a prototype of the blood pressure monitor, Deagle's team realised the product wouldn't work for left-handed doctors and were able to make the change. 3D printing works using a laser and powder, like powdered titanium or plastic, which is melted into microscopic layers to build up the form of the object. So we can now use these technologies essentially as a 3D fax machine. We can design a product here in New Zealand, email the files to our partners in France, and they then print out the file overnight and give it to their customers to try as a real product. They can then make any design changes they want, email them back to us, and we print them out at our end, and so on. So this technology becomes real 3D faxing. The machines vary in price, but they are becoming increasingly affordable. So much so that soon every designer will be able to have a desktop version. Following that, 3D printers for the home. The possibilities are mind-boggling. Printing out a toothbrush? No worries. So with these technologies, there's now researchers doing work on being able to print out body parts. Now we're not there yet, but you can imagine in 10 or 20 years, we might be able to print ourselves out a new kidney. So it just gives you an idea that with these technologies, you can do some frighteningly awesome things.